Hello guys and welcome to TechBlob YouTube channel. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to migrate Active Directory from Windows Server 2019 to Windows Server 2022. The benefits of migrating Active Directory from Windows Server 2019 to Windows Server 2022 including improved security features better performance and enhanced scalability so i'm going to configure right now first of all i'm going to show you the basic settings of the windows server 2019 i'm going to open the server manager and the local server here you can see the static IP already I have entered in the server and 192.168.60.129 series and this is the domain name and PC name okay so the same time I'm going back to the Windows Server 2000 2022 let me open the server manager in this And in the server, the computer name is WinServ2022. And the static IP is 192.168.60.128. So before uh, migrating the server, you have to check your primary IP address of Windows Server 2090. The IP address is entered here. Okay. So I'm going to open the run command and type cmd, hit enter and type here ncpa.cpl. This will go to the network connection adapter and right click and properties and select the protocol version IPv4. Okay, so in this uh, the following DNS server IP address is not set here. So I'm going to uh, enter the IP address 192.168.60.129 is the IP in the Windows Server 2019. Okay, I'm going to click OK. We need to check first whether this server communicating with the Windows Server 2019. So I'm going to type in the CMD command prompt ping 192.168.60.129 and hit enter. And now you can see connection is successful. The both server is communicating. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is let me minimize this and close this and open the server manager and I'm going to select add roles and features click on that and here I'm gonna click next and role based feature based installation click next and by default win server is selected I'm gonna click next again and the second option active directory domain services okay select and add features and additional no need to select for this time and click next and next and next again and select restart the destination server automatically if required I'm gonna select and click yes and install and this will take some time please wait until the installation complete and now the installation has been completed I'm gonna click close and after installation select promote this server to a domain controller click that and here you have to select the first option add a domain controller to an existing domain okay I'm gonna select here you have to enter the 
credential for the Windows Server 2019, the administration credential you have to enter. Administrator at techglobe.local. Okay, then enter the password and click OK. Now the small module has been opened. If you have a multiple uh, domain name you have to select here so in this case I'm going to cancel this and you can see here the domain already selected here okay so I'm gonna click next in this section the site name by default first site to name okay and I'm going to enter the password type the directory service restore mode password ok and confirm the password and click next click next again so in this section I'm going to select in additional option replicate any domain controller to the winserve2019.techglobe.local and select and click next and the by default the folder data locations not going to change and click next here you can review your selections click next again now the pre-request checking going on and now you will see all pre-request sites uh, check passed successfully and now you can install please wait until the installation complete now the windows is going to restart so I'm going to close this to enter the credential and after the restart I'm going to open the server manager and go to tools select active directory users and computers I'm going to select a domain name I'm going to right click and click properties here you will see the functional level in Windows Server 2020-22 this is the maximum okay so now I'm going to expand the domain name here a uh, few OU and the users computer alright now the accounts users these are the users in the account OU the manager OU you will see the four users and uh, I'm going to the domain controller here you can see now two domain controller uh, before there is no uh, Windows Server 2019 now it is there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize this and click tools and go to the active directory sites and services I'm going to expand the sites and select default first site name expand expand the server winserve 2019 I'm gonna expand and right click NTDS settings and select all task replicate configuration from the selected DC or else you can select on the top alright so I'm gonna click that now the active directory domain services has replicate the connection I'm gonna click OK and right click again and go to all task and the second replicate configuration to the selected DC click on that and click OK again now the both server is communicating the active directory domain name services so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the active directory in the Windows Server 2019 so let me minimize this and go to the Windows Server 2019 server open the server manager and click tools and select active directory sites and services then expand the sites 
and default first site name and expand the server and select WinServe 2019 and right click NTDS settings and select properties I'm going to uncheck global catalog and click apply then OK and then now again I'm going back to the Windows Server 2022 and currently the FSMO role is Windows Server 2019 okay so let me uh, minimize this select Windows Server 2022 open the PowerShell go to the start menu and right click Windows PowerShell and run as administrator and here you need to enter few commands okay the first command nt ds util hit enter then the second command roles and hit enter and the fsmo maintenance i'm going to type connections and hit enter okay then type connect space to server and here you have to specify the computer name which is now the current owner of the DC is Windows Server 2019 so I'm going to type the name in my case uh, winserve-2022 okay hit enter and here you have to type the help command you will get the the full command here all right now I'm going to enter the this five commands transfer infrastructure master and uh, I'm going to follow the five commands and simply copy hit enter so once you paste the command you will get the small dialog box like are you sure you want to domain role of infrastructure master transfer to the server so you have to uh, click yes confirm same like this you have to follow the steps copy and paste it here and hit enter and click yes then third command transfer pdc i'm going to copy then paste it here and hit enter then seize root master copy and paste it here and schema master and hit enter now we have done all the commands so in this fsmo i'm going to quit and hit enter again hit enter and clear the screen so here i'm going to uh, double check who is the owner of the dc active directory okay so uh, enter the command net dom space query space and fsmo and hit enter so now you will get the uh, confirmation now here you can see schema master and domain master everything is now winser 2022.techblob.local so now we have successfully completed the configurations migrate to the windows server 2022 so now we can check whether the the migration done properly or not so go back to the active directory domain services and click users and manager everything is transferred to the uh, windows server 2022 successfully we have a transferred all right and these are the way how to configure the migrating uh, windows server dc okay and thank you for watching this video if this video is informative please do comments below in my channel and subscribe see you in the next video